Hi guys, this is Paul with Tweak Town. We're here continuing our coverage at Storage Visions 2014. We're sitting down with Michael Abari. He is the Senior Vice President at Samsung, and he's presenting he's presenting a keynote today here to the audiences. So, Michael, could you give us a little bit of an idea of what you guys are talking about today during your keynote? Sure, Paul. Um, what we're going to be talking about today is really the proliferation of mobile devices and how NAND Flash has helped to um, spur that growth. Uh, we're going to be really talking about how um, the, the growth of mobile devices such as smartphones, tablets, laptops um, has, has really risen uh, to be the, the three core devices um, that, have, that have really spurred growth in the industry. Now, um, you know, NAND flash is everywhere. It's, it's, it's ubiquitous. Um, and we wanted to talk more about how NAND flash and the underlying technology, that being the underlying technology that has driven also SSD growth, uh, because our, our uh, growth in SSD as a category has really risen here in the United States, and we wanted just to talk about our perspective there as well. Yes, and the, the explosion of mobile devices is helping to kind of fuel this tsunami of data to where there's just more data than people feel that, you know, it's growing exponentially. They say all of the world's data was, or 90% of it was created in the last two years. So a lot of that's coming from phones and tablets, and you guys also build phones and tablets, so you feel that having your own NAND fabrication to provide that storage gives you guys a clear advantage in that category? We, we do. We feel um, that that does uh, provide an advantage. Um, to your point, Paul, uh, we're not only a brand that delivers, um, you know, fixed solutions or set solutions in, in smartphones, tablets, and, and PCs, um, but we're also, and we're, we're leaders in each of those um, categories in some way or another, um, but we're also leaders in, in NAND flash. Um, we're the number one NAND flash uh, um, provider uh, in the industry, and we have been for quite some time. We're also the number one SSD provider in the industry, and so um, so it helps to have sort of that uh, the spectrum uh, covered in terms of solutions and having that deep understanding of the NAND itself. And you guys certainly aren't content with just setting still on NAND. I mean, you guys are leading the way in when technology there with 3D NAND. Can you give us? Maybe just a high-level explanation of some of the advantages or benefits of that. Sure. So um, we uh, we made an announcement earlier um, or late last year, I guess, uh, about uh, our our foray into 3D uh, VNAND, and um, uh, we think that this is uh, yet another uh, sort of milestone in Samsung's leadership uh, innovation, and uh, this is you know this is fairly large. I mean. 3D VNAND will provide double or twice the density. Um, it'll provide 2x the write speed, uh, 10 times the endurance, and 50% less power consumption. Well, and what's impressive, kind of, when we when you we look at Samsung NAND as a whole, is you guys already have really good, just typical planar NAND, and then now we have the VNAND, the 3D NAND solution, 3-bit MLC, but you guys also are deploying a lot of TLC, and right now we're not seeing anyone else in the consumer market deploying TLC solutions, so that gives you, of course, a price advantage, but can you give us maybe some words on how you feel TLC is going and in, in its adoption into the marketplace? Sure. So. Um we have uh, we have three bit MLC in the market today. Um, it's our 840 Evo uh, products, and we're um, we're really really pleased with uh, with how that's going. Um, in fact, uh, what I can talk about is is not only the underlying performance of the NAND, of the NAND that we're utilizing there, but we're also introducing new technology like Rapid. Uh, that helps to um, increase or boost performance even further, and so um, you know it's it's uh, it's a combination of of our technology in NAND as well as uh, some of the innovation that we're bringing in, in terms of software that's helping to to boost overall performance. And in feedback from our readers, that is one thing that a lot of guys comment about and they really like about your SSDs is the toolbox is easy to use, it's functional, it provides more functionality than anyone else, and. And then, you know, with Rapid, that's kind of boosting performance, and it's it's really easy, it's intuitive, easy to use. So, the, providing hardware and software together really gives you guys kind of the complete package, you would say. Yeah, it does. Uh, you know, th th that's exactly what our intent was, was to make it really easy. I mean, there is no 
There is no self-management that's involved in, in using our magician software. It's really what I, I guess would be called plug and play. Um, but uh, uh, we wanted to make sure that the solution uh, was relevant. And by relevance, we introduced simplicity. Uh, and so that's that's kind of we're happy to hear that that your readers are, are taking a positive, you know, a positive feedback on that. Absolutely, it's a big differentiator in the market right now. Is some people have nothing, some have <laughs> partially functional, but the magician software by far, there's no question about it, has the most functionality. Now we're reaching almost this inflection point with NAND. Price is getting. Of course, we're not at price parity with hard disk drives yet, at least not on the consumer side. But the prices are getting lower. Where, when do you feel, or could you give us a broad sense of when we're going to start seeing more OEM integration into desktop computers? Let's say we go to Best Buy and we can just pick up a computer and it automatically has an SSD in it. Because that's fairly rare right now. Yeah, you know, um, the statistics that we show are that um, in 2013, about 18% of um, mobile computers uh, utilize an SSD. Absolutely. And so um, uh, that's still a fairly low percentage, knowing that, that laptops are becoming thinner and lighter, the whole Ultrabook category continues to be pushed by, by, uh, by the industry. Um, but uh, we think that, that 2014 is perhaps maybe a tipping point year where um, the introduction of new technology um, being introduced to o the OEM community uh, could help to spur rapid acceleration of, um, uh, of adoption. Uh, of SSD. Now, um, you're right, Paul, we're not there yet in terms of parity with an HDD, um, but I'll tell you, per from a performance standpoint, Absolutely. from um, a robustness standpoint in terms of um, you know, being a secure type of storage technology, um, more and more people are saying, listen, if I'm, gonna, if I'm going to increase my system performance, they're not looking at a CPU or uh, memory upgrades anymore. They're looking at SSD as the as the as the um, solution for system performance improvement, and that's that's big. That's that's a game changer. Absolutely, and it's kind of interesting because this NAND is fueling all of these devices, and and Samsung has such a broad range of products. It's almost it's like an ecosystem. You know, for instance, from my phone, I can. You know, I can stream to my television from my phone, and you know, yeah. both of them are having storage on them. So it's exciting times. Yeah, absolutely, and and it'll be it'll get more and more exciting. I mean, you you, you mentioned it earlier. There's going to be more need um, and growing need for for greater amounts of, of data and storage that um, that helps that along. And so you know, we're at at CES, we're going to see a proliferation of UHD or 4K content um, come to the forefront. Absolutely. What kind of you know we we need we need storage technology to <laughs> to yes. help house that. The ISOs for those are going to be ridiculously big. For Absolutely. Things. So well, that's good stuff. And thanks. We appreciate your time, Michael. Thanks for stopping. All right. The booth. Thank thanks. you, Paul.